we're headed down to the dump to try to get this thing weighed tonight. Uh, that's the question everyone's been asking, how much does it weigh? Uh, the Camry, Camry tows it pretty well, it's 96 Camry. I, I don't know how much the tongue weight is either, we'll try to get a weight on that too. The dump is closing in 10 minutes and I'm about 10 minutes away so hopefully they let me in. I'm also selling the trailer, so if you're interested and you're in Northern California area, I'll have a Craigslist link below. You can check out the Craigslist or Facebook link or something like that. Um, and if it's sold, I'll put it. I'll put that it's sold in the description there. Since the place is about to close, uh, I have to get there first. But I'll show you guys around the trailer to show what's all in it and uh, what's getting it to that weight. So, let's see how much it weighs. All right, we're at the scale here. It says 4520. 4520 is the weight of the whole thing, car and trailer. All right, now we're going back on with just the car. Trailer's over there. We got. 3560. Okay, we're back on the road after that. So 4520 minus 9360 is 9, 920? It's 960. So 960 pounds for the whole trailer. Uh, we'll check what the tongue weight is. I'm guessing 100 pounds. It might be a little light for tongue weight, uh, but we'll check it when we get home. I'm not really sure what I was expecting. I think like there's a lot of hardwood in there in the interior and the walls are pretty thick. So I, I suppose it would be heavier, but under a thousand pounds, you know, that's not too bad. We'll check the tongue weight in a minute here. All right, so now that we're home, I can show you around a little bit with the remaining light we have. Harbor Freight 4x8 trailer, four foot wide. Interior is just under four feet wide. Looks like an inch under or inch and a half under. LED lighting, got two markers and then brake lights. We have stabilizer jacks right there, the stock fenders and uh, wheels. And then the tongue has been strengthened. You can see an extra brace that is not normally on Harbor Freight trailer and that goes back to the next uh, support beam. And then locking hitch and the and the folding jack. And then there's a bunch of holes in the tongue right here and that's because I used to have a wood deck on here. Uh, probably can't go on since the jack is there, but if you move the jack, you could put a deck back there. Windows and doors are from an RV salvage yard. I just reconditioned them, painted them and cleaned them up. There's a skylight up there, that's an Amazon thing, and the roof vent is an Amazon thing, manual cranking vent, no fan. Uh, and then the back door is all custom built. It's You can see it's a bit dusty right now. I need to wipe it off, but uh, you can see all of the whole build process on the channel. I'll link the uh, playlist in the description and uh, you can watch every part of it. The trailer, building the box, putting the windows in, flooring, walls, everything. Um, it is a poor man's fiberglass covering, so uh, paint and glue and fabric. It looks pretty decent. So one vertical opening window there. The door is a suicide door because that's what was available at the junkyard for that price and the door is on the curb side like it should be. Uh, front window does not open. This side window slides sideways. And then there is a plug there, 110 volt plug that goes to the inside. And then hurricane hinge on top of this door and two latches, one on each side with the pull handle in the middle. These have a provision for a small padlock, but you should probably get something better if you need it to be real secure. Um, the door has a deadbolt. There's a deadbolt right there that works okay. And then there's a deadbolt in here that works good. And the actual handle has a lock too. And I have the keys for everything. And then I just added some gas struts to this. Um, wiring isn't quite finished. Uh, there's wire here for a light. I do have a light that goes there. And then there's 
one light up there and that all is in the wirings inside the roof and it comes down here that that comes down there and then there's wiring also that goes across the roof and comes out right above the door jam right there so that you could put a switch and that switch was going to be for exterior lights which i haven't installed yet but i do have them the star lights are just put up here with a 3m removable uh, sticky so you can take those off pretty easy just made those curtain rods too and the curtains are made out of the same fabric that was used to cover the trailer and then the inside interior walls are beadboard from Lowe's or Home Depot painted white and then the front wall and the roof are uh, red oak salvaged red oak uh, front wall, ceiling, and back door are 2x2 two two construction with 2-inch uh, foam insulation. And then the walls are half-inch foam insulation, quarter-inch paneling on the inside, and half-inch ply on the outside. It was brand new flooring, just wood floor. It's not hardwood, it's composite or whatever, whatever that's called. You can see the edge of it right there. It could be replaced fairly easily, it's just brad nailed in. And uh, the countertop is an Ikea countertop, you can see all the way through. I hadn't built cabinets inside yet, but you can still do that. All the wiring comes down there through the wall, and then I have a little power, power bar. And I was planning to put a battery box here, but depending on what that tongue weight turns out to be, it might be better to put the battery box on the tongue, which I have an exterior battery box if you want it. Like I said, that door is two by two construction, also insulated. And then the weather seal is, uh, there's two sets of seals. You can see one and two, those are off Amazon. The only problem with this is this corner gets quite close. So this corner is starting to tear up the seal in the corner, which you could probably just shave this corner down, get a little bit extra room, install some new weather strip, which it's super cheap on Amazon and you're good to go there. So the battery, the battery electrical setup needs to be finished. Although when you have shore power, you don't really need anything else. And then the, that weather stripping kind of needs to be fixed, which I might get to by the time it sells. The side door has a curtain also. And then it has uh, these black straps to limit it, limit the travel. One up there, one down there, like a, they're off a Jeep Wrangler door. It's a brand new and then it limits it from hitting the fender, the dirty fender right now, so it doesn't go that far. Obviously, if this came over while, came open while you were driving, it would probably create a problem, but just be nice to it and it'll be okay. Uh, the mattress is a brand new four inch foam. I believe it's four, uh, that might, that's actually a six inch mattress. And then the, the, um, it's cut down widthwise, so it's a little bit smaller than a queen, a little bit bigger than a twin. I think it's like 38 inches, something like that. I should measure it. And then the sheet is actually brand new, never slept on. It just holds the mattress, stays on top of the mattress. And with the skylight there, you can see the stars. And I got a little extension cord and uh, the power adapter for a 30 amp plug. So good thing I measured it. So it's 46 and a half inches. That's the interior width. And that is how wide the mattress is. It's tight for two people. It's a little cozy. Um, it's pretty roomy for one person. And if you were one person, honestly, I'd probably change to a twin mattress because then you'll get like a little six inch gap right here where you can put your shoes and stuff. Um, that kind of works better for one person, I think. But this mattress, I think I slept on it twice, and I've not not even slept on the, the sheet at all. All right, so let's measure tongue weight now. See how fat I am. 203, all right. Hopefully we don't break the scale here. 318 about. So 318 minus 203 is about 115. 115 pound tongue weight with a 960 pound trailer weight 
is like 11% tongue weight or something like that, 12%. That's actually right in the range that you want. You'd kind of want like 10 to 15% tongue weight. And then if you were loading any camping gear inside, you would put it up in the front here and try not to let it slide back. Um, but it's right in the acceptable range right now. And I think like a small car like this, uh, the acceptable tongue weight on this is around two to 300 pounds. So this should, I mean, this it felt totally fine towing it with 96 Camry. And so this is like perfect size for any little car, Subaru or whatever. And also one person can move it around fairly easily. Assuming you can lift 115 pounds. I'm actually moving to a different state and I don't know where I'm going to live yet. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to have a place to store it. Uh, so that's why it's going for sale. So it's in Northern California. Um, like I said, check the link in the description for an ad so you can contact me and also check out all the build videos on it. You can see everything I did. Thanks for watching.